the struggle is real guys the struggle is real <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lucy. If you've been before, come on in, take a seat, get your trainers ready, because we are gonna do a little bit of running. But if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Lucy. I've been on a running and weight loss journey since February, 2020. I started my journey at 230 pounds, unable to run for more than 30 seconds. I wanted to find someone else who had the same struggles as I did, that didn't make it look easy and who would make me feel less alone in the fact that it was so difficult for my body to run. I wanted to see that person hitting the goal I had so I knew it was possible for someone like me. I never found them, but to cut a long story short, I've run a lot of miles and I've lost a lot of weight. So I am making the content that I needed to see way back then. If this is the kind of content you think you need or you're just going to enjoy, hit the subscribe button, become a virtual running buddy. Also, if you are new here, this little bit of context may really help. <laughs> I should let you know that I've recently moved. This new area is extremely hilly and it's majority trail routes. I was used to running on extremely flat road running routes. It is safe to say that I've not been enjoying my runs as much as I used to. These inclines are everywhere, so each run that I go on includes big hills, which means every run that I go on has a hill session in it. <laughs> and hill sessions are things I used to avoid, like the plague. <laughs> Earlier on this year, I actually got injured because of a hill session. That's how much I used to avoid it, I'm just not used to it. <laughs> anyway, I am not about to give up. I haven't worked this hard for this long to just quit after seeing a few hills. <laughs> they are pretty brutal, but still. I mentioned joining the gym in my last video, and I know that this is gonna be a very necessary evil that needs to be in my life <laughs> if I wanna conquer the hills. And on Wednesday evening, just gone, I had my gym induction. I've just parked up at the gym, and honestly, this session isn't gonna be harder than having to try and find somewhere to put my phone to film this clip in the car. <laughs> I don't film in the car often at all, but I've just pulled up, I've just got to the gym and I'm feeling okay actually. I've got a little bit of nerves because I don't really know what to expect, but it's just an induction, an induction that I asked for <laughs> because I didn't want to sign the waiver and just go in guns blazing on my own with no advice on the machines or whatever. I am going to ask the instructor who is going to be taking me around what he recommends for running because obviously I'm doing this for running, no other reason. So yeah, uh, this is the before and I will see you after. And that is my gym induction done. <laughs> it lasted about 45 minutes. He was very thorough. He showed me all of the equipment that I need. I told him about my running and how I'm doing this for injury prevention and to help with strength and conditioning. Yeah. And to be honest, it really wasn't a big deal. There really wasn't many people there. And I knew I was there to learn what everything was. No pressure, no nothing. So I didn't actually end up getting a workout done. <laughs> it actually closes at nine and it's now... 10 to 9. But yeah, done. I'm ready. I have the code for the gym and hopefully I can get there at least once a week. No pressure, at least once a week on top of my running. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> I have not been able to get back to the gym since. It's annoying because my husband Matt is away and he's not gonna be back again until Monday. So I don't have any childcare now until he gets back. I also can't get out and go for a run either. Same issue, childcare. But the difference is I'm not paying every month to go for the run. So not being able to go to the gym is it's, it's hurting my soul a little bit because I'm paying money. <laughs> that brings me on to Thursday, actually. I finished work on Thursday and I didn't have a lot of time before Matt had to leave. And I knew that was going to be my only opportunity to get out for a run for the next four days. Now because this area is all still so new to me, I wanted to see the routes that were further from the routes that I've already ran, if that makes sense. And it's Thursday 
and I'm running. <laughs> I haven't actually ran since Sunday, since I lost film that clip in my previous video. So I've had quite a while off. I needed the rest. I feel a little bit more energized than I have been recently. <laughs> but today, I kind of have a bit of a plan, which is crazy. I still don't know where I'm going, but I have an idea of where I'm going. I'm just gonna be running across this training area, running straight ahead. Oh, and even running straight ahead for 20 minutes and then back again for 20 minutes. This way I'm hoping I'm gonna learn a little bit extra about the routes around here and I really wanna see how far out I can go. So just the 20 minutes out, 20 minutes back, see how far that is. Nice and slow and steady. As you can hear by my breathing, I am struggling still, but we will get there guys. We will learn to love the trails. my watch I'm not 20 minutes in but I've ran all the way down here I'll show you where I started I started all the way over there now what you would think is I would just run down here and straight but I ended up all round here all round here all looped to here all round here all round here <laughs> till I got to this bit here which was in my sights just over there I've still got a couple minutes of running to go that way before I need to head back but I've stopped twice to stretch off. This is tough. <sighs> Running is tough anyway, but moving here, wow. But I need to practice what I preach and I tell you guys, you need to look after yourselves. You need to stop and stretch when you feel like you need to. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not pushing myself too much. I'm going at a gentle pace. To be fair, I could probably be going slower than what I am, but because I did a wriggle round the routes and I didn't go straight, <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting my 20 minutes. So I need to go this way a bit more. Three minutes and then I can turn around and go home. Okay, let's, let's go. This looks like it goes so much further. Guys, what was I worried about? Right, that's 20 minutes about 1.75 miles only trouble is that bit was downhill <laughs> so i've got to go uphill now but I've just had to pause my watch um, and stop because I don't even want to show you the hill that I'm struggling on but there is a hill in front of me on the way back I've got about I don't know seven minutes left six or seven minutes left before I get to the 40 minutes and my run is done but I just I've stopped twice since I've turned around and come back and I've had to stretch off I'm struggling. I think there's a combination of, it's obviously the hills, but it's hot as well. And that's really making me feel sluggish, but I just, I just had a bit of a cry. I just had a word with myself and I wasn't gonna film this, but I told myself that this is leveling up. This is what it felt like in the beginning. This is what 30 seconds of running felt like for me in the beginning I couldn't move my legs I couldn't breathe I was dripping with sweat I just couldn't carry on but I leveled up I got better I carried on three years later I ran an ultra marathon <laughs> these hills this rough terrain and this heat is me leveling up 
So if you're struggling and you cry on a run, then you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're leveling up, you will get better. So I'm gonna put my big girl pants on. I'm gonna stop these silly tears and I'm gonna get on with it and I'm gonna get this last bit done. Also, Matt is waiting for me to come home. But yeah, I just wanted to put that in because this, this running malarkey is hard. It's hard for every single one of us. I made it, let's have a breather and then we'll get the rest of it done. <laughs> And that, my friend, is 40 minutes. <laughs> Nearly got three and a half miles out of that, which is quite nice, but not quite. <laughs> and 430 odd, I think it was, calories burnt, which is well deserved up those hills. I'm gonna leave you here. I'm actually gonna run home. So it's gonna probably be more than three and a half miles, but first day's run, done. <laughs> and there you have it. I got out there, I tried my best, and yet I still felt like a failure because I was struggling so much. But did I quit? No. And is that really all that matters? Yes, 100%. Leave a comment down below. I would be really curious to know what's the main thing that makes your running or whatever sport you do, it doesn't have to be running, but whatever sport you do, what's the one thing that make, always makes it harder? Or two things. For me, heels and heat. <laughs> comments below because I'd be really curious to know what would what's the most common thing that makes your workout so much more difficult <laughs> make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it guys I will see you soon for some more updates bye guys